feeling pretty terrified about this pressure test. I'm gonna fight as hard as I've ever fought in my life for this. I'm not going home. Good hustle, Jen, good hustle. There's so many ways that you could prepare oysters. One of those ways is a poached Japanese preparation. And you need to be very, very careful with that. Just kind of going with the flow here. I don't want to see them dropping an oyster into a roaring pot of boiling sake. It kills the flavor of the sake and it will destroy the oyster. Nice. True redemption is getting back into a pressure test and coming out alive. Moving on. This pressure test is the most important thing I've ever done in my life. Kagan, how are you? I think I uh, kind of embarrassed myself a little bit in that last challenge, so I'm looking for redemption number two. You opened a lot of oysters. Yep. But only a few of them were successful. Um, I'm gonna learn from that. I think the biggest challenge here is really the pressure. So it's gonna come down to who performs best under pressure today. One thing is for certain, you are a fighter. You don't give up. Thank you. Can't wait to see what you do. They also have to prepare a raw oyster, and there's nothing simple about that task. A beautiful, classic mignonette, which is usually done with red wine, shallots, very clean, very fresh. You gotta make sure the mignonette does not have too much acidity. It has to be perfectly balanced. Lots of potential for mistakes here. Does it smell good, Becky? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Becky. Hi. How are you doing? All right. First pressure test. Nervous? Uh, not really. Not really. So, are you confident? Yeah. Well, have you ever cooked an oyster before? Uh, no. No? And you're not nervous at all? No. <laughs> Cold as ice. I tell you, don't be nervous, but you should always care. Remember that. Yeah. All right? You're a savage, Becky. Go, go. You're a savage, Becky. I want the judges to know that I can handle the pressure. I do have emotions, I just don't show them. Ten minutes! You have 10 minutes left. The Rockefeller is everyone's favorite, including me. First of all, get a nice, rich bechamel sauce with spinach. Very careful, get that taste right. Puree, get that in the oven right now. You are going to broil it inside a hot oven. On the next gear here, guys. Jan, you're a machine, yeah. Jan, you're a machine. One of the key elements of that poached Japanese preparation is the lobster claw. Poach until it's just cooked, and then the careful procedure of gently cracking it and removing it whole from its claw. Yes. Here comes your moment, Becky. Oh, Becky. Hi there, Jen. Hi, Chef Michael. Sorry I'm not looking at you. I've never uh, done this before. So Very this gently with it. Deep breath. Gently, gently. Yes! 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 <laughs> <laughs> you deserve that. Thank you. So we'll let you carry on. Good luck. Add a girl, add a girl. I am my biggest obstacle years ago. I had the chance to go to cooking school and I didn't. I just didn't go because I thought, why would they want someone like me? But I'm done standing in my own way. Get those oysters plated. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, Becky, yeah, Becky. It's so important to get the right ingredients on the right oyster. Kagan has a tendency of forgetting things. Look at the oyster. He shucked the most, but he forgot to release them. Let's go, Kagan. I need to take my time with this. If I rush it, oyster's gonna look terrible. I look at my dish and I realize that my mushroom is out of place. That mushroom not being in the Rockefeller oyster might send me home. The judges will now taste each home cook's oysters three ways. Jen? Hi. Presentation is not bad. The lobster claw came out whole. Delicious oyster. Thank you. Good vinaigrette dressing and the umami of the seaweed is coming through nicely. Nicely done. Thank you.
Jen. Hello, Chef Alvin. I'm going to try the oyster rock pillow. This, this is a classic and one of my favorites. The oyster is perfectly cooked. The mushroom should be cooked a little bit more thoroughly okay. because we want to get that different texture. It's there, but it's not doing its work. Okay. In my humble opinion, the most difficult oyster is this one, the raw oyster, because you have nowhere to hide. See that? Mm hmm What is that? That's peppercorn. It's a lot of peppercorn. Remember, cooking is all about those fine details. The pepper is too coarse. It's actually taking over the entire flavor of the oyster. Hello, Kagan. Hello, Chef Michael. Looks like that oyster mushroom jumped ship. It was supposed to be hanging out over there. That's right. The lobster is cooked very, very nicely indeed. Lovely light dressing, works well together. It's not a perfect dish. I hope you've done enough to stay here. Good luck. So, the raw oyster. The jelly is nice, it's intact. The shallots, they're perfect. Thank you. The pepper, the jelly, they complement one another beautifully. Wonderful. Thank you. Even though a component was missing, the oyster was cooked perfectly. The sauce tasty and was rich, and that's what Rockefeller should be. <sighs> the unshakable Becky. It looks like you carbon copied the plate that we showed you. Well, let's see how your raw oyster tastes. The mignonette is expertly done. Good heat, the peppercorns are finely ground. It complements that oyster beautifully. Sauce, good flavor, well seasoned. Great combinations of the cheese, the breadcrumb, and finally that mushroom. This oyster Rockefeller, it's one of the best I've ever had. Wow. Very well done. Thank you. That's it, Becky. Oh, Becky. Becky, you were the only one that had that oyster in the grasp of the pincers of the lobster, as was shown. Fresh, crisp crunchy, the way it should be. Nice seasoning on the lobster claw, but it is, in my opinion, slightly underdone. You're not making it easy. Good job, babe. I don't feel safe right now because everyone had ups and everyone had downs on their dishes. It's gonna be very, very tough. And I think it's gonna get down to counting the flaws. I wanna be the one who's saying, I don't want to go home. I don't, I'm not ready to go home. 